on a fine October morning in the rolling hills of West Virginia while touring the area with marble friend David Tamulevich, I had no idea what we were about to stumble upon. Oh, oh, we are so, we're so lucky. Here is the Peltier Peeing Machine. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. How about that? Just waiting to welcome us. Oh, what a treat. I we'll have to unveil that. So this is the 1940 Peltier Pee-wee machine. It was given to Dale Simmons by Boyce Lundstrom. Um, and, uh, and Dale Simmons had no place to give it, and he was good friends with Sammy, so he gave it to Sammy. Wow. And Sammy's got it electrified, so he can just plug it in. And so... The tank would have been sitting, oh, maybe back this way. Right, right this, this way. The, you roll it in with the wheels. Okay. And the marble stream would come. Right, Down there, right, so right the tank here. was up above it. Right, and there, and there are the cutters. Right, this would slice back and forth. Yep, yep. And then along that arm. go into, to, you know, and, uh, you know, and unlike m most companies, I mean, th these, this is a side, these are side rollers. Right. Right, instead Two of, of them. Right, right, and they come out either side into these, into these troughs. Yep, they roll, they roll around here, come down into the trough, and then you have peewee marbles. And there's just a pair there, so that's pretty wild. And this is probably where the was attached to some kind of engine or motor. Right. Yeah, it looks like a flywheel that had a belt on it. That's an airline, probably there. Pretty uh, cool. More oil. Okay. And here it is, up and running with Glassmaster and proud owner Sammy Hogue. This is a dry run demonstration without the glass tank. This mighty little machine looks like something from straight out of a steampunk convention. And on display in the front table are some of Sammy's fantastic contemporary handmaids. Now, if you look closely at the action of the cutting arm, there's two blades that will cut the gobs of glass. When the cutting arm pushes towards the right, it projects a gob of glass into the right cup. And when the cutting arm pulls towards the left, it throws a gob of glass into the left cup. And from there, they drop into the forming screws to roll the marbles round. These marbles are Peltier Peewees. They came from the Dennis Webb collection. And you can see just how tiny some of them are. And they were in that box. This is the other box that was attached to them. Slightly larger, but still Peewees. For a Peewee size comparison, in this line from left to right, we have two itty bitty tracer marbles. These are barely over a quarter of an inch in diameter. Here's a rainbow at three eighths of an inch, and here's a he she at a half of an inch. These are all considered Peewees. We have a 9 16 tiger and a 5 8 dragon. These would be considered tournament marbles. This Peltier lemon lime is at 21 30 seconds, and this is a typical shooter size and then we have a nova which is uh, a little over seven eighths these are often called boulders or toe breakers or bowling balls or or what yeah you know, they're double d's <laughs> you name it there's tons of nicknames for the big boys and there's an awful lot of folks who are particularly fanatical about peltier peewees and they can be highly sought after by collectors in this gallery, we look at some of the more desirable peewees from the Kathy Huggins collection. Peltier Glass was known to make peewee versions of Champion Junior style rainbows, peerless patches, and Acme reelers. And check out this green based example with a nice flash of metallic on the patch. These may have all been made on that one machine, which is the only Peltier peewee machine that is known to exist. And we looked far and wide for a banana cat's eye peewee, but we came up empty. If you have one, please step forward in the comments below. I'd like to know if there's any out there. 
And these blue, white, and yellow examples are nicknamed wolverines. These are highly sought after by collectors. And what's this? This is a chic little mid-century perfume collectible by Blanchard Cosmetics. These little perfume nips held Peltier Peewee marbles at the end of the tube. Well, thank you for joining me on this Peewee installment of Vintage Machine Made Marbles. If you like this video, please give it a 